So I want to call the hearing to order at 634. Um, and I'm sure everyone's looked at the proposed amendments. But Recording packets, in progress. The packets full of amendments that um, we're looking for comments on. And this is to the town plan. These are amendments to the town plan. I've been looking at that. So I have them. You have them. Um, of course, we've already looked them over. Yeah. As the diligent select board members that we are. Yeah. So we're looking for the public to comment on the proposed town plan amendments. That's what I'm reading here. Public comment, proposed amendments. And then the next thing is adjourn public hearing. But of course, we won't do that till we can hear some from people. Right? Julie has a has a. Oh, she has her hand up. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, we're, I was waiting with bated breath. <laughs> as an ordinary resident of town. But, and I passed life not too long ago. I was chair of the planning commission. Um, and uh, this particular item came up while I was still chair of the planning commission. Um, there was um, a lot of public engagement on it. At times, I think there were maybe 20 people who showed up. I mean, that doesn't happen at the planning commission hearing, at the meeting. Um, and the challenge was to try and deal with the immediate issue that had come up and you basically call that there had been a, uh, a cell tower that had been proposed on. Could, could I interrupt you? Because I can barely hear you up here. And I'm wondering if, if Orca, if you can hear well enough. I can hear. For it to go out to the people in TV land. It's hard for me to know exactly how it's going to be heard online. It's a, it's, a little, it's a little low, the volume. Okay. Yeah. So do you want to come closer to where the mics are, Julie? I think part of it is the air handling system is kind of loud. Yes. So I will recap. I'm Julie Potter. I'm oh, no, I, I heard you. Oh, no. <laughs> they didn't hear me. Okay. Okay. I, I heard you just earlier. And, and, and John and Judith actually don't know me. So that's true. Yeah. Um, uh, I live on North Street. Um, I was chair of the planning commission when this issue came up. We had a lot of public engagement on it. Um, you may recall that part of the what triggered looking at this is that the um, there was a cell tower that was proposed on Jacob's Road, Jacob's Road. Um, and the community was none too pleased. Um, and the town doesn't get involved normally in dealing with permitting for cell towers. That's the prerogative of the Public Utility Commission. Um, but the only way the town, the town can't speak to the issue when it goes to the Public Utility Commission. But the only thing the town can really point to is language in a town plan. And state statute doesn't require that cell towers be discussed in town plans, so most town plans don't discuss it. And if you find with it one that does, it's because something happened in the past. Um, the Planning Commission spent a lot of time educating itself, educating the public, educating you folks if you came to some of the meetings um, about what the process is, how the public utility looks at these sorts of issues, what the town can and cannot do. Um, and uh, so there are certain issues that the town is precluded from weighing in on. The number one and most important one relevant to the proposal proposed um, tower was that um, federal law precludes towns or the state from making any comments about the public public health issues associated with the radiation from a tower if it meets the FCC standards. 
it's presumed to be okay and there's not much you can weigh in about it. But that was one of the big concerns that got raised, that in aesthetics. Um, the planning commission spent quite a bit of time getting up to speed on what the issues were. The proposed tower went away. But Hi. the neighbors bought out the development rights. It's not the first time that's happened in town. Um, the, but it's not inconceivable that this issue may come up again. And in order to try and find a way to provide the town with the kind of language that it can point to successfully and make a good case to the Public Utility Commission, it was important to try and develop language that um, would be recognized, would explain what the issues are, recognize that there's various costs and benefits, both to the community as a whole and to the immediate neighbors, that it would articulate clearly in the areas where the town is allowed to raise questions and raise issues about uh, cell towers, mostly dealing with aesthetics and natural resources. Um, how the town would be looking at that and pointing to the language which exists in the town um, uh, zoning regulations. Um, and, but you have to have the, all these pieces tied together in order to be able to make a successful case or to at least have the Public Utility Commission listen to you. They're not experts in town plans, so you've got to be pretty explicit. Um, and in my opinion, the, the proposed language does a good job of trying to balance some of the issues, um, explain what the process is and who's allowed to do what. Um, it, it does make it clear that you know, there are areas that the town can weigh in, but is not obligated to weigh in, um, and areas where the town cannot and is not allowed to, to weigh in. Um, but it does strengthen for the things that the town want, might choose to weigh in, it does strengthen the ability of the town to do that. And I think that, that that's something that is valuable for us because I think it may happen again, um, that a, a tower is proposed and needs some kind of attention paid to it. Um, the amendments also in the process of going through identified that there were some issues dealing with the scenic resources section in the town plan. That was new or had been greatly expanded. Um, and there were some glitchy things that can't happen in production. If you've ever worked on a big document, you know that sometimes cross references don't quite match up. Something's supposed to be in there and it got deleted. So there was a case where something was supposed to be on the map and it wasn't, but it was on the table. Something that was on the table, supposed to be on the, you know, wasn't on the map table, but it was on the map. Try to fix those sorts of issues. Provided a little more clarity dealing with aesthetics for um, dealing with tower kinds of issues and providing some of the justification for why half a mile. And uh, so I think the homework was done. I think this provides the town what it needs to have without saying we're going to oppose or we're going to approve, we're going to support these sorts of things. It's, it's a case by case kind of basis and the town and the town plan needs to help allow the town to be able to look at it on a case by case basis and decide what if anything it wants to do. So I think it came out pretty well. And I'm not a drafter on this piece. Um, so I may be responsible for some of the things that didn't get the typo type issues in the, in the previous town plan. But um, so I'm not speaking as the author of this, but I'm speaking as somebody who supported getting it done and uh, was involved in reviewing it as it was being developed. So that's my two cents. But you're not really, you're sort of the public, but not really the public. We want the public. I am well informed 
but I am not a member of the Planning Commission any longer. I know. Which you means I... A, you speak from a point, uh, a place of knowledge. Yes. <laughs> specific knowledge. Yes. So we we're hoping that more people would come in that didn't have much knowledge about this, but were curious to know about the changes. But I don't see them anywhere. Are they outside? Maybe, maybe Julie did such a wonderful job that why would anybody question the work? That's true. That's very true. No, Ju Julie, Julie did a, a tremendous job as, as the chairman of the committee and, and yes. researching and writing. So she, she deserves yeah. accolades for this work. Yeah. Plan yes. Mm -hmm. I was not, I did some research. Okay. Try and make sure we got the right speakers in and the right yes. issues were being addressed. Yeah. Um, but I was not the drafter on this at all. Okay. All right. So, Mr. Chair, I'm sorry. Just, were we going to have a member of the planning commission walk through the um, changes or? No, I, I was under that impression. No, we did have, they came into our select board meeting. I don't know if you were there, actually. No, I, I, I was. It's just yeah. th there was a PowerPoint, and I didn't know if they were, it was going to be in anticipation of the comments, but no, no. I, I misunderstood. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, but we do have the town plan amendments in paper copy here, so we can go over those. Uh, but I was hoping the public would, because yep. we, ha we have already ourselves gone through this at another meeting. I, I believe we just kind of introduced the topic. I don't think we began going. Oh, I thought we went through line. all the amendments, didn't we? Was that? Yeah. The planning commission Yeah. Both of Right, page by page. I, I think you were in Spain, no? Or... All right, maybe I was. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but I remember he came in and went over yeah, every, so every change. Yeah, so I don't see any more people. So I guess we can wait. Maybe some people will come in. Because I think we allowed half an hour for it. Who do you think might come in? Members of the public. Oh, no, anybody <laughs> specifically or? No, I don't, I don't have, <laughs> I do not have names. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, right. Call people up. Oh, right. call people up. <laughs> I think I'm good on some topics, but not on this one. <laughs> we we didn't have a huge amount of the public that came to the planning commission. Uh, Claris might be able to answer that. I was I was away when that hearing happened, but um, I don't think it was that well attended either. Oh, okay. And maybe you just guys just scare him away. I guess so. Somebody scared him away. Not somebody. Uh -huh. Can, so if I had a question, oh good, perfect. Could, could I ask get of Julie or Scott or anybody you want? Okay, um, uh, just or Claris. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see who else was up there. Claire, Claire, she's the vice, she's the vice chairman of the committee. Claire, I had to like cook my head around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. uh, my apologies. Um, looking at the town plan amendments, or I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's what we're on right now. Yeah, so chapter six, page eighty-eight. Um, the first paragraph on the top, any proposal to install an array of large capacity must receive approval of a majority of the select board or a five person committee appointed by the select board as condition to file a certificate of public good. The board doesn't have authority and the, the public service board's jurisdiction is, and the statutes are pretty clear regarding its authority and jurisdiction versus the town's authority and jurisdiction. I'm just wondering what what is our authority? I, I, I'm not familiar with what our authority would be to appro approve or deny um, a solar array. So for so what size? Judith, what? you're working with something with different pagination than what I have in front of me. So you're, right. in, you're in chapter six under Telecommunications infrastructure. F. Yeah, we're in the town plan. Yeah. And we're about some chapters. chapters You're in energy and energy, and that's called chapter six. Okay. I guess chapter six. six. Energy and energy conservation. Telecommunications. Okay, energy. What you're yeah. looking at. Okay. It's a different page. So it's a different bundle here, apparently. Okay, so 
Yes. yes. Okay. It's not an amendment. Okay. Okay. Well, we might want to think about changing that. Um, but anyway. It's not up for grabs now, but what, what would your point just if we have a lot of time? Um, I don't think we have the authority. We don't we don't approve or deny. It's no. the public service right. board. And this says that we have to approve by three three of the select board members have to say yay or nay. So we don't have that authority. We we can look at that language. Yeah, I, my poly, I I downloaded what was on the I'm website. Not a member of the planning commission at this point in time. My understanding, however, is that the planning commission is looking at the developing an energy plan that would be yet another amendment to the town plan. Um, so the question you raised okay. would be: it would be timely to bring it up and refer it to them. I don't trust my own downloading skills. I'll look at the packet. Does anybody else, Jen, have any more questions? Because this is the time to ask them. We've got time. Maybe I think you've got some more questions. Does it have to be about yes. this, this? Oh, okay. Well, yes. Quite, we're not on, about we're this. at a hearing. Oh, okay. I have questions. About <laughs> you have questions about other things. About other things. <laughs> How to bake cookies. Yeah, exactly. 350. Yeah. <laughs> well, as long as we have a little bit of time, I mean, I, I will ask, um, I'll preface this by saying that uh, I had at least one town's person uh, be concerned about that cell tower proposed for Jacobs Road that it, uh, oh, is this going to be 5G and this person um, equates 5G with very bad. Um, but uh, you know, my understanding is 5G is an urban technology uh, that the towers need to be fairly close to. To each other um, for it to work at all. But um, I'm just wondering about the future proofing of the ideas in here. Um, is there thought to what it might look like if there are proposals for a lot more smaller cell tower placements? Or does this does it fall under what's in here anyway? Means shorter in height. Yeah, yeah. Does that make any difference? Are we are we? Is there a minimum or maximum, basically? Yeah. I thought there was a maximum. Though. Like if you put it, I mean, we don't have that many street lights, for, but if you put them on street lights, for example. I think they were. There's one company in Southern Vermont that was doing this. Okay. <clears throat> actually, and up in the Northeast Kingdom, okay. they're putting them on, 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 on yeah, on light poles. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm, yes. Like Gen through 5G. Well, I don't know if it's 5G or not, but oh. I do know that they were they were putting on some of these poles and actually were installing these shorter poles at certain locations. So. Mm. Wi-Fi and cellular communications yeah. out there. Um, Without the tall tower. Well, unless something's happened since I was on the planning commission, the last um, proposal that came through for um, a, a cellular antenna was was actually at Fairmount Farm to put it on our silo. Um, and the planning commission looked at it and decided that there wasn't really any concerns about that. Um, so, I mean, it's not like these things, they're all, have to be contentious. The ones that tend to be contentious, it's because they're big and visible and people don't yeah. like that, or they're concerned that, um, about some sort of energy or radiation that are from them. And as I said, if it meets FCC standards, right. it's not something the town can do anything about. Right. So there might be other reasons. Um, I mean, one of the issues that people raise um, that might have ended up if it had gotten that far as a concern with the uh, um, tower on Jacob Road was its proximity to a stream, which was it's one of those sort of little streams that took water down the hillside. Um, but either the tower or the uh, access drive for it was pretty close to the stream. Um, and it wasn't being flagged in the application. Uh, and that's something that might have required some clarif clarifying and some, you know, get experts out in the field to actually take a look and make some measurements. Um, 
you know, those are sorts of things that the town can't weigh in on. How successful they'll be, now that's a whole other question. Okay. Okay. Well, I think we could close it here early. It yeah. allows us to do that. Early. It does. It's only five minutes early, but I don't think anybody else is coming. What does everyone else think? I think you're right. Oh, is there someone up there that wants to? Speak? I don't know. Oh, hello. I can't see her. Who is the cat? Well, you have the cat. Are we missing somebody's hand there? Is it, can we turn off the light there or no? Is that Scott, Clarice, and the, who's the cat? It's a town <laughs> office. Okay, all right. <laughs> so I don't think we have anybody there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't see any hands up. Oh, no, you, you, just have two, you just have two planning commission members. Okay, yep. Okay, all right. Well, thank you very much for all the hard work. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry more people uh, of the public didn't come. But. So, so sometimes, I mean, my experience, people tend, more people tend to come out on the first yeah. you know, sorts of hearings. First round, yeah. um, there was a lot of comment that the Planning Commission got from the community. Yeah. in the process of drafting things. I think once the um, went away, well, that's, that's there was a lot less interest yeah. in it. Um, and uh, I, I had to say several times as chair, there's no such thing as a quick town amendment, town plan amendment. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I think over time, people either, they had other things to think about their their particular issue went away, but the but the planning commission was committed to try and finish right doing what it started to do. Finish your project. Yeah. Okay. There will be attention to it next time there's a proposal, yeah. and exactly. we can point to this and say, look what great work right. our planning commission did to prepare us for it. Yeah. Hopefully that won't be circumvented by the power of money. Not to see what happens. Okay, so let's open, let's close the public hearing on the town plan amendments. It is closed at 6.55. Um, the next item, the public hearing on zoning regulation amendments. I'd like to call that hearing to order. Yes. Okay. Okay, we'll wait. It says list of start times for the second hearing and board meeting are approximate. The actual start times will be immediately after the conclusion of the preceding event. But the trick in that is we're going over. Mm. I oh, see. Because yeah. these are formally warned. Okay. Yeah, we can wait. Okay. Yeah, I thought that gave a latitude to That was my interpretation. <laughs> Should we do the warrants? Are we allowed to do that? We'd have to, oh, we'd have no. to start we the select board meeting, meeting yeah. and that, that doesn't start till 7.45. Right. We can't do that because well, it's that not. Is so you can make that go anytime. Oh, make really? That, do, argue, the warrants? The warrants be after the second hearing. Right. So let's just sit here for five minutes. <laughs> we are at 7 o'clock. There's another hearing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'd like to open a hearing for the zoning regulation amendments. It's 701. Um, we have the proposed amendments in our packets, and we hope we'll get some public commenting on those amendments. Oh, <laughs> we have somebody here that claims to be a member of the public. <laughs> She's really a stand in for. <laughs> Oh, let's see. So, Julie, did you have some stuff you wanted to say? Okay. Well, we'll accept your accept the fact that you're representing the public. How's that? Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, if you want to talk to the planning commission, you've got two representatives on the screen. Yeah. Well, we have talked to them. I mean, but we haven't seen you for a while. No. So perhaps you'll give us some information. I mean, it's it's nice not having to go to too many meetings anymore. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, 
these um, amendments to the land use and development regulations have been a long time in the works. Um, and it's had been flagged in the 2013 town plan to do village zoning and it was flagged in the 2018 town plan to do village zoning and the planning commission got the grant and did a, a it's not tell your village master plan um but it's not enough to have it in the planning you need to do the planning first and then you do the zoning to implement the plan um and uh, these amendments represent trying to implement the East Montpelier Village Master Plan. Um, and there were a number of other items that came up as a, in, in conjunction with that. Um, there were some other sections outside of, of chapter two um, that needed to be updated in order to implement what was in the East Montpelier um, Village Master Plan. There were some issues that had cropped up in changes in statute that needed to be updated. And the number one item there is um, the, uh, uh, the regulations dealing with accessory dwelling units. Um, and there were some other definition kinds of issues and references to things that have changed in state statute that came up. Um, and then there were some things that the um, Development Review Board told the Planning Commission, in their opinion, weren't working very well, or Bruce told us in his capacity as zoning administrator weren't working particularly well. Um, and one of those had to do with setbacks in all the districts in the town. Um, that it was just the existing setbacks are quite large and date back to an era where people wanted large setbacks, but that's not necessarily what planning practice is these days. And there are an awful lot of requests for waivers or variances coming into the DRB. And professional planners will tell you if that's happening a lot, your setbacks are too big. Um, and so in the process of doing this version of um, the proposed amendments to the land use and development regs, tried to stay kind of focused to how do we, how do we implement the village master plan? Um, how do we address problems or things that are clearly out of date relative to statute? Um, and I think it does that. I mean, I suppose that um, on any given issue, somebody might have a quibble with the choices that the Planning Commission made, but I think in the aggregate, it, it really does reflect trying to stay pretty focused on um, the kinds of issues rather than take the big comprehensive thing, which, by the way, is what the state is sort of pushing people to do, They're putting a lot of money available for municipal zoning um, uh, overhauls, but um, the message was pretty clear to the Planning Commission that there was such a thing as too much change. And so the Planning Commission tried to get it pretty focused. Um, and I think this represents both the, the intent of the Planning Commission to try and stay focused and also to implement the Village Master Plan which at the time that the Planning Commission was working on it and, and, and approved it, had quite a bit of public support. I mean, a lot of people came out, a lot of people were interested in it, and the document that was produced was something that I think had a fair amount of support. So I would urge you to adopt this. Thank you. So you sound very educated for a member of the public. <laughs> this one, um, I will take uh, the, the, the drafting credit on. Okay. Um, well, I knew that you were. I also, I also will take the the uh, 
the knots for the number of typos that had to be corrected. <laughs> <in the charge. laughs> um, the last time the town zone was updated, um, I volunteered to deal with the document production. Yeah. And found I had to, there had been like six different people with different ideas about formatting in the 20, whatever the, before yeah. 2015. And um, I ended up having to retype the whole thing. Yeah. And um, when you do that, there's mistakes that get made. Mm -hmm. And I had a proofreader and we caught a lot of things, but there's a lot that didn't get caught. And yeah. we found it going through doing this and tried to fix those things too. Yeah. So now we're waiting for more comments from the public. But you see, anybody else uh, dial in since we started? No, I don't nope. see anybody. Yet. Of course, you can't hardly see anything on the thing anyway. So we have to wait another half hour, supposedly. No, you can you can start up early. You just yeah, couldn't... that's what I thought. The actual start time that we meet, that's the conclusion of the preceding event. Yeah. So time is written in stone, but the commencement is not of the ending date, ending time. Ending time. But we'll wait a few more because somebody could be dashing in madly and they want to say something. <laughs> <laughs> Dare to dream. Yeah. yeah. Anybody have a comment from the select board? I'm just saying we had a lot more turnout with the, with the tree plan. We had a lot of <laughs> we had a lot of people for the tree plan. Mm. The that was a hot issue. issue. It was. Sure got riled up. Yeah, <laughs> there's also a new issue messing with my trees. <laughs> <laughs> this has had a lot of iterations. A lot of people have already had a chance to comment. A lot of people have right. over the last number of years because it's been going for on for many years. Three, four, yeah, quite a few. <laughs> From what I saw, these all make pretty good sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't. I I just think that that changing the size of the access requirements and set and, and reducing the setbacks and yeah, um, it just makes sense. Mm -hmm. Especially if you don't want people planting themselves on fifteen acre parcels of land yeah. everywhere. Yeah, you might want to have a couple houses on there. You, you think? Know? Yeah, and cited in the right place. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Well, just so that um, we can make use of, of land and have some cluster construction, maybe in a near the village somewhere, as opposed to Abu Lakefield. <laughs> well, Callus <laughs> or Callus. Callus. Because Callus is mostly one acre zoning, is it not? They have. Have they, Bruce? I thought they had mostly one acre zoning. They have mostly loosely defined acreage zoning. It's oh. not all one acre. Oh. Uh, they have a much more uh, flexible approach. Oh. Just depends on where you are as to what the details are. Who you are and what you are. Where you are. All the above. Oh, pretty much. <laughs> Julie, it's a national. It's a national trend to not make setbacks so large. Is that owing to a trend in, or why is that, do you know? It's, uh, I think it's sort of a recognition that not every place needs to look like suburbia mm -hmm. or look like 1970s suburbia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When um, and there's a certain era of zoning, and East Montpelier's has its roots in some of that time period. Whereas what, what was standard practice in zoning was um, big setbacks and a lot of parking. It was very auto kind of oriented. Um, and I think over time, there's been a recognition that um, you don't always need long driveways, that the large setbacks have meant all that a lot of historic homes that predate the zoning with the old farmhouses, they have just been really hard for their owners to do things with. 
um, because they're so close, to, a lot of them are so close to the road. They're been really challenged with having these huge setbacks. Uh, and so the other thing is, is, is to mention that if you want to leave more space open and more contiguous space open, then having large lots with long driveways and people plunk a house in the center of that right. large lot, that does nothing. Yeah. It doesn't do anything for natural habitat. It no. doesn't do anything for make for even having the option for there being land that a farmer might be able to oh, yeah. lease yeah. and farm. Um, it, it's it's just not considered good practice anymore. And so there has been a really big trend to reduce setbacks. And as part of looking at this, we did take a look at the, uh, quite a few towns. In, in central Vermont, just as, particularly ones that have updated theirs, just to sort of see what they do with it, just to sort of, you know, are we really out in left field by doing this? And the answer came back, no. And that was, there was no, re by having a smaller setback, it doesn't force somebody to, you know, build their house just at the edge of the, set, the setback. I mean, they can, if they still want to put their house in the middle of their lot, they can but we're not forcing them. Right. Um, it also provides a little more flexibility for, there's a lot of lots in, in town that are um, developmentally challenged. Um, they've got wet soggy areas or they've got ledges, they got, they've got all sorts of issues that make them kind of hard to develop and giving people a little more flexibility in how they do it is it, also good, uh, but it's a real, Fixing the setbacks, I think, is, is, is a really good thing for people with historic homes. Oh, yeah. I mean, I saw that benefit. I put a barn in on my <clears throat> old trail road. And if I was going to meet the town setback, it was going to put the barn in the field. But I wanted to put the barn where the barn, there used to be an old barn there, but it was too close. So I had to get a variance. I had to get a variance from the state. And I had to fight for that. But I said, look, it makes no sense to put that barn in the middle of the field because it's going to be, this is not, that's usable land. Mm -hmm. Where the old barn was, it was not usable. Let's put it there. And they gave me the variance, but there was a perfect answer or problem that you have addressed mm -hmm. in the setback. And I've never understood why there ever were 70s era setback regulations for the reason that you just articulated. If people wanted to build their, their lots without those setbacks, uh, their houses way back, they could still do it. What possible interest is it of the town to force people to do that? Yeah, I, to have them so close, I mean, not, what's the problem? What's yeah, the exactly. Yeah. Well, once it's in the zoning regulations, um, and you've got to get a certain Momentum going to get it changed. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. And if you wonder why I was in here in the first place. Exactly. Yeah. I think somebody just wanted to change things. If you look at all the farmhouses, the farmhouse I grew up in in Marshfield, um, you know, that's right near the road, right yeah. next to the road. But they were near the road because, first of all, you had to have grain deliveries. You had to, yeah. you had, you had to be able to get your cattle in the field and, and pass across the road or whatever. You just want to be close to it. And you didn't want to shovel your driveway for 65 or 100 feet. Well, and also the road was smaller, too. Right. No, the road's got a lot wider. You're right. But I still, mean, the road actually, what happened first? The chicken or the egg? Did the house happen and then they made it past the next house? You know, it's like, was there a road to start with and they built the house? Probably not. They probably just built the houses and then there was a path. You know, it's kind of like evolution, you know, what happened first. But they had good reasons to build close to the roads, of course. Yeah. Because if I had to shovel my yard, I'd want to be as close to the road as I could. Yeah. Well, you still do. <laughs> 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 no, yeah. Yard, but yeah. Yeah, but I know that on my farm, the yeah. buildings are right close to the road. Right, exactly. That's the reason. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes too close, but roads got bigger and the buildings are still there. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I don't see anybody madly dashing in, but maybe they are waiting out there. No. <laughs> you go like this. Can <laughs> <laughs> we get up and look? <laughs> 
Maybe if we stick around until tomorrow, somebody will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what does everybody think? Should we wait longer? No. I'm satisfied. It's 20 after. You're only cutting it short by 10 minutes. No, no, no. This is a 7.45. Oh, jeepers. Oh. Yeah. It, oh, it's okay. 45 so, minutes allowed. But that's just a thrown out. No. I know. You don't have to even if we won't leave. Yeah, it was just a guess, an educated guess. Okay, which is cool. acceptable. Yeah, I I think we should kick the ball down the road and in the hearing, but I certainly want don't want to do it prematurely. I don't see anybody. You feel it's premature. I think it's appropriate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Post mature. Uh, okay, I think that uh, the public comment. On the proposed amendments is ending, and we should adjourn. We will adjourn the public hearing at seven twenty. Ha. Uh, okay. So now we will open the select board meeting at seven twenty, and call the meeting to order. Do we have any additions to the agenda? I don't see any on the select board memo. Does anybody else have any? Anything to add to the agenda? No. no. no not. <laughs> Penalty of death. Yeah. <laughs> Do you folks on the other side? I, I checked with Carl. He said no. I don't want to do <laughs> okay. We don't have any additions to the agenda. Let's review the minutes June 6th and June 13th. And we have, I have some. Let's see. Let's see. I have a clear, and I, I should have checked this before. Um, did we have a personnel matter at the end of the? Um, didn't we have an interview on that day? With, on June sixth. Yeah. Because that's not. Did I it miss was the thirteenth? I think was it? No, there were two. The thirteenth oh. was for like a very brief meeting. Yeah, that was a to special meeting. What took place on the sixth? Okay. And so, the June six, I wasn't there at the beginning of the meeting. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, that oh, isn't oh, here. That's right. not reflected in the minutes. You're right. So we no. need to. Or wait, no, no, no. No, you I called think. the meeting to order six thirty. Right here, zoning oh. amendment. That's too much good on a Monday. No, I should take it. <laughs> Where are we? Okay. It's a little waste. We, yeah. we went into executive session at 6.50 and exited at 8.10. Never mind. Mm -hmm. I have something a little bit above that if we're on June 6th, mm -hmm. which we seem to be. Um, the minutes, uh, I did not present the minutes. Um, they they were minutes that uh, Gina had taken, I believe. Uh, but uh, I think it's just sufficient to say the board reviewed the draft minutes in mm -hmm. both, both cases. Under minutes. Under minutes, yeah. the board uh, board reviewed the draft minutes of May 16th and of May 23rd. Instead of Mr. Etnayer presented. Um, and then on the second page, I might have been dozing, but um, under the town clerk report, right in the middle of that paragraph at the top, it said, the board discussed possible benefits to keeping the checks. I remember that part. Yes. And then it said, and determined that if information on the check was needed, it could be obtained by requesting an image of the check from the bank. I thought we decided once we threw away the checks, we couldn't get that information no. on it. No, but the, no it's but always the, the bank always has it. The bank always, always has it. And that's, that's always how have the, an image of the check. And that's okay. how the conversation went, too. Yep. Okay. So, you, so, you know, we excuse you yep. for sleeping. Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Um, under the consideration of the warrant to impound unlicensed dogs, uh, Mr. Etnayer recused himself from this vote. I'd like to add, as he serves as a town's animal control officer. Just to explain the reason for the recusal. Uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Did you have something, Judith? No, um, I've got something on the next page. Okay, I have something on the next page too. Uh, do you want to go first? We both have a similar maybe. Um, uh, on the okay. Board of Listers request to consult town attorney. Um, I don't think we need to go into great detail right. on that okay. because part of the concern was um, 
that we not go into great detail yes. on the request. <laughs> so maybe that they wanted to talk with them. We decide we um, the board um, determined by consensus that um, if there were an appeal file, they can consult with the attorney at that time, something like I've, that. I've got some language here that, and I'm gonna email this to Gina okay. anyway. So if we're okay with this language, we can use it. Uh, it. It is simply the board of listers would like to consult with the town attorney about possible legal action against the town. No, I would no? get rid of about possible legal action okay. against the town. Okay, and just consult with the town attorney. Yep. And then the final sentence with some modification, the consensus was for the board of listers to consult the attorney only if legal action is necessary? No. Um, how, if, how would you say that? Um, if an appeal is filed, um, they can consult with the attorney. So wait a minute. We didn't give permission for them to consult. Correct, we didn't. Right. we didn't, no. No, I know that. Yeah. So, but you about, don't like the paragraph because it, it's fairly accurate to me. But. It's it's accurate, but we don't want that in the public record. Why is that? E even though it's already in the ORCA tape. As, yeah. I, as I identified during the meeting, identifying that you want to consult with an attorney and why is um, revealing information that could be harmful to the town and the town's interest in that legal action. Okay. So my my preference was, and I think Carl's initial or the um, beginning part of his amendment was they wanted to talk with the town attorney. The consensus was if an appeal is filed, there's enough time for um, the listers to consult with the town attorney. How about the consensus was this is not a timely request? On where? On no. After the first sentence? No, the the, the last... board of listers oh. would like to consult oh. with the town attorney, yeah, yes. period. The consensus was this is not a timely request, period. Replace the whole thing. That work? That's fine. I mean, sure. if, if. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if that's going to make a lot of sense to somebody reading this. Yeah. Uh, but I thought you were going to leave the first. Okay. Part. So what's, okay. The, the, what's the paragraph was? read now? How's it read? Um, the, the entire paragraph with. Is the board of listers would like to consult with the town attorney? Period. Okay. The, the consensus was this is not a timely request. Okay. All right. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. I guess if we're trying to kind of shroud it a little bit, fine. Right. It's short. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then I had something on the next page. page. Um, this is page four the, the COVID vaccination. Uh, it's the final sentence in the um, first paragraph, well, the only paragraph. Uh, the consensus was that the mandates are hard to justify uh, now that the state has dropped its mandate. We did talk about the state dropping its mandate. I'm uncomfortable saying that um, or implying that that is a reason for us to um, not justify our mandates because we have a history of imposing mask mandates when the state hasn't had one. So I'd like to just strike that, that the state has dropped its mandate. The consensus was- but We did the, say we that. We did though. say that. Yeah, we said it. We did refer to the state dropping its mandate. Right. But I don't know, it, it, it wasn't, if I was to be part of the consensus, I would say uh, that mandates are hard to justify now. And this, I note that the state has dropped its mandate, but that's not a reason for me to um, have a hard time justifying the vaccine mandate now because we, we operate independently in the state. Well, I don't know. That sentence sounds accurate to me because I remember the, the I remember saying that or somebody said that. Yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't a consensus, clearly. Well, what's the consensus? It's not a, you know. Consensus was that the mandates are hard to justify now that the state, state has dropped this mandate. So I remember we said that, but. I didn't say that. And a consensus no, by definition is all that. five people agreeing. So if you have one person who doesn't agree with it, then okay. it's not a consensus anymore. Consensus? But but there was a consensus that the mandates are hard to justify. And we could say the majority. Huh? Majority. Yeah. <laughs> majority of the board. You could just call everybody out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Carl's objecting to the consensus in that sentence. No, I'm... Uh, well, Because I know that we said it. Either that or I'm objecting to... It's they, but we did say that. Though. Do you just, understand what I'm saying, though? You're saying the consensus. You're saying you agreed to 
you agreed to to, to drop the the mask mandate, but right. the vaccine the, mandate. I mean, the vaccine mandate, but yeah. not for the same, not because not for the same reason, not because right. the state dropped there. Right. No, but because just as we talked it over, it, it didn't make any sense to do it anymore. I think it's. And, majority of the board and we and we already have other reasons in in the paragraph that we talked yeah. about for dropping it. Uh -huh. so we talked about a number of reasons for dropping it various people emphasized them in different ways and the consensus was that it's hard to justify now for a totality of reasons not not just for the one reason listed in that sentence huh well just put in for a totality of reasons yeah or we, you could uh, say, uh, you know, the, the bit about the majority of employees have been vaccinated now. Um, you know, that's a separate sentence. So you could say the state has dropped its mandate. And if I may, the discussion was the state's mandate on its employees. Right. I and mean, that's just a fine yep. distinction. Mm -hmm. And and forgive me. Now the state has dropped its mandate on vaccinated employees. Yeah. It's the same thing. I, I just, I don't, I don't. I'm not advocating for a change. I'm just clarifying by the state mandate. That's what we're referring. Yeah, to. yeah, right, right. Got it. So we can we can record that that was talked about, which is true. Yeah. So we could say the majority of employees have been vaccinated, and keeping the policy is unlikely to get them vaccinated if they haven't done so by now. Period. The state has dropped its mandate on its employees. Period. The consensus was that the mandates are hard to justify now, and that the board can revisit the topic. Yeah, definitely a mouthful. But that's, sure. that's fine with me. That's fine. fine. Me. Yeah. Good enough. You, you realize you can just drop the word consensus because you have a motion. Yeah. By definition, motion trumps consensus. Mm -hmm. yeah. We had a motion and it was unanimous. No. no. Yeah, you 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 voted. I'm not I'm not arguing. Okay. I'm not arguing that we did not have a consensus to drop the mandate. Right. You're saying that you don't agree with consensus because the reason that you voted was not because the state adopted the mandate. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's inaccurate. But the language I suggested is accurate. Okay. So anything else? That's it. Okay. And that is the June 6 minutes. We need a motion to approve them as amended. So moved. I'll second it. We have a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Guys have it. Now we go to the June 13th meeting, which I was not at. What? Well, it was a special meeting. It was a special meeting. And and you're not special. You're not special. <laughs> That's okay. I was in the field. That's a good thing. Um, yeah, I thought these were fine. I just had a. Should board be capitalized? That's the when we're saying board. And where? Where? Um, in past protocol, kind of the select board was, but board wasn't. But okay. we can go either way. I don't think board should be capitalized. I will not. I will not allow okay. that. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah. 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 healthy We're debate. Like board, I love just like yeah. that's all good. Board, B O R E T. Yeah, like yeah. board. Yeah, B O R E T. Oops. <laughs> um, and in regarding the discussion, I think the discussion um, included. I'm not sure that it was expand uh, when talking about issues of racial equity. I think it's important to all, always say um, inclusion, not just diversity, because it's um, so mm -hmm. I, I thought when I spoke on this topic, I had mentioned her work <clears throat> and her goals of racial equity and inclusion. So just uh, ideas to expand racial inclusion or issues of racial equity and inclusion. That would be my suggestion. That's in the, um, the next slide paragraph. paragraph. Yeah. I would just add inclusion. Yeah, uh, after racial diversity. To ex um, ideas to maybe discuss or expand issues of racial equity and inclusion instead of diversity. Okay.
Judith, you're talking about the Mr. Mr. Etnier sentence, right? Shared the that oh, right here. Wait, so which I'm yeah. sorry, I couldn't figure out this what you're talking about. Third yep. sentence down. Oh, okay. The third line third. down, I mean. Oh, Second potential sentence. ideas shared that he spoke about potential ideas to discuss issues of I mean, because yeah. you're invite you're yeah. inviting her yeah. in to discuss that with us. Okay. That was my suggestion. And instead of racial diversity, issues of racial equity and inclusion. Gotcha. Okay. That's okay fine. Sure. Okay. okay. You put those words in my mouth. I think they were there. All right. So we need a motion to approve it. The minutes, the June 13th minutes. So moved. Uh, um, oh, sorry. Oh, you have another edit? Okay. No. Um, my little notes myself. Okay. So Amy made a motion. Do we have a second? second? We have a second. Judith made a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. <clears throat> um, okay. Public comment. You're public. <laughs> yes, okay. Do you have a comment? Oh, good. Um, I do read the minutes. I, I read the uh, agendas when they come out with select word. I don't always read the minutes. Oh, you don't? No. <laughs> Why? Is this, because you do. Is this a confession? No. Um, oh. it's just what, so it, it puts a little context around my question, which maybe I'm, I'm sort of just looking for a little information about um, my understanding is that the town was going to get a sizable chunk of money from coming through from the feds Arbor. and the state dealing with yeah, our, our money. <clears throat> and I didn't know whether the town actually has a plan for how to spend that or whether any decisions have been made about how to spend it. No, we have not made a decision. Is there a plan? Or, or well, not yet. Not yet. Okay. We have some time to come up with that. Yeah, I've just right. sort of. And there are some options. I hadn't seen anything that said. This yeah, we is... did accept the standard proposal, which means that we can put the money into our general revenue stream, sort of, and spend money on other projects. The money that come, we can we can take that money and actually pay our expenses with that if it meets certain criteria, and then we can take our tax revenue that comes in and we can spend that on certain projects. If we so choose, so that's kind of where it's at. We, we've talked about wanting to get a lot of public input on this because this is a big chunk of new revenue right. to the town, and we have not formulated that process yet. One reason we've been kicking that can down the road is because there are still some questions about how how we, how we can spend that money. But but we did accept this a uh, plan, a uh, standard proposal it was called. Of uh, we chose a certain path. And now, as we move forward, we can choose certain projects or whatever, as long as they meet certain criteria. And we're not quite certain on all the criteria, which is, I think, what you alluded to. Right. Uh, because we um, loan some money or give some money to the um, uh, projects. Fiber. What's it called? Broadband yeah. Fiber. yeah, the fiber company is putting up the loans. And so we had discussed that before, but now it's a little uncertain whether that could happen, whether we could do that. Do you have any recommendations on the best, whether or how to look for public input on how do you spend that money or on what to spend that money? Um, I didn't come tonight with thoughts about that mm -hmm. in mind. Um, but if you're, it's always possible to try and see if you can do a little survey or get yeah. people to come to a meeting. But first, we have to get the criteria. But you need to understand team. what you so, can and can't yeah, do. What you can't do with it. Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of where it's at. Okay. So I haven't missed anything. Thank you. No, not really. But thank you for the question. So you have been uh, scrutinizing the minutes, it sounds like. No. 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 Agenda. <laughs> oh, just the agenda. No, oh, just oh, oh, that's right. You're going to read that you don't yeah. always read all the minutes. And if I read all the minutes, you would. Exactly. But I don't think you would have because. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's your public comment. That's 
Okay, so thank you. Um, so, do you have something to say? No, no not oh. at all, no. no. I'm just uh, agreeing with everything everybody was saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's really not safe. <laughs> <laughs> Keep you right in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the next thing on the agenda is review of hearing feedback and discussion of next steps. So we can start with the discussion on the town plan amendments. What's the next step? Well, it's, we could... it's in our annotated agenda. We can uh, propose a, we can set a date for a second public hearing and July 11th is proposed here. Um, I won't be at our meeting that day, but that's fine. Will we have a quorum that day? I, don't know. Yeah, I have one comment. Do you think you're going to need a bigger, maybe like Gary, Audit <laughs> Gary Auditorium, maybe? Yeah. Are, think, are you being sarcastic? Yeah. Because I think we had enough room. <laughs> maybe we can use a state house. Yeah. In my opinion, we had enough room tonight. So they, whatever. You yeah. You never know. Okay, really so good. why don't we set the next hearing, the manager hearing for July 11th? Is there enough people going to be here? I'm going to be around. I should be, yeah. So I'll be here. I'll be here. Okay. So there's at least four of us. Um, proposed date of July 11. Sounds good. Can we just take note of that? Okay. Uh, Before we move off of that one, do you yeah. want to move it back to the office? Oh, yeah. It's set for here. <coughs> back over there? Um, well, I don't want to leap to conclusions about poor attendance. <laughs> uh, doesn't matter to me. This is kind of a nice place to meet, actually. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. The floor is flat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we'll have it here. Good. A good question. Okay. So we on the next set of amendments to the land use and development regulations <coughs> so, so <laughs> all those in favor of adopting the proposed amendments to the land use and development regulations please say aye aye aye, aye. The eyes appear to have it, they do have it. That takes care of that item. Okay. Good work, Planning Commission. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Julie Potter and the rest of the planning. It's oh, you're not on it. You're yeah. on it. But you worked a lot on it. Um, so, yeah, the regulations will take effect in 21 days. Okay, perfect. Uh, That's one of those. Those aren't your speakers, are they? You don't control them. Huh? Maybe it's a test. Okay. It's a storm coming. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> are we still being recorded? Yes. Oh, okay. Perfect. Can I you still it. hear us? <laughs> I blew out his ear. Um, so now we have a town treasury report. Yes, that... I am going to cover that. Okay. Oh, so I've noted in the memo kind of where we where we stand. Um, as of today, we are sitting at a budget surplus of forty nine thousand. Um, however, we expect to pro probably incur the rest of that between the final payroll of the year and then invoices that are going to come in to, to essentially be somewhat at a break even. In looking at some of the fund balances that we have, um, would like to make two adjustments to release 25,000 of the current $55,000 fund balance that is uh, currently reserved for unused vacation and sick. The reason for that is we, we have a large payment uh, paid out throughout the fiscal year that is now complete. So the kind of remaining need uh, for that reserve should be less. I would like to dig into a more detailed analysis of this um, in, the, in FY23, but right now this seems to be a, a kind of fair um, 
estimation, to still ensure we have an adequate reserve going into next year, and then we will likely refine this number even further um, as the new treasurer and I dig into to numbers a little bit more. And to future needs, basically. I'm Correct. Yeah. I mean, line. realistically, we should be able to break this down. That's right. Um, looking at hours and hourly right. rates and get to a very solid number. It's just, yeah. you know, yeah, pretty easily, actually. <laughs> haven't had an excessive amount of time to dig into those details. Right. just yet but we will we will get there yeah and when you say release you mean transfer to the general fund? yes we're okay. going to transfer to the general fund correct okay. and then the same thing for the treasurer transition there was a twenty five thousand dollar fund established for that obviously we're working our way through that um so we'd just like to reduce that to still hold ten thousand in that for fy23 and then obviously that that fund will ultimately end up going away after after fy23 um mm -hmm. yeah but we'll maintain that that ten thousand yeah. and release um that into into the general fund yeah okay so is that intended to cover the cost of, are we expecting to have two treasurers for a portion of fy23 we have for a limit until august yes, yes. that's the okay. plan yes okay. yes so to cover that that's correct to cover Don, correct yeah. yeah Don to help us get through the audit right. and right. all that kind of fun stuff so right. yeah okay. So that's uh, that's really kind of where we are, and like I said, probably we'll get into. You have two pretty strong numbers people now yeah. <laughs> sitting in your TA and treasurer position, yeah. so we will be digging into a lot of things at much level, much deeper detail as we get into FY twenty three. So uh, yeah, we just had estimations before. And yep. is, we have more solid numbers. Now. Yep. Yeah, we yeah. we had estimations. I you know I think um, I think we have good estimations that we've gone into, but I, yeah. I like data, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> We'll, we'll probably be enhancing, not probably, we will be enhancing a lot of spreadsheets and financial analysis going forward. So yeah. Michelle and I have had a lot of very uh, high level discussions that we'll start digging into, you know, especially yeah. as both of us are fully engaged in our roles and we're kind of yeah. migrating away from the transition time and, and we're, right. we're all in. So. Sure. Yeah, sounds good. So would it be fair to say on the basis of all of this, if we do those transfers that we would end the year with a 35,000 yeah that, surplus, that's that's my 4, guess yeah surplus? Okay. yeah it's it's hard to know you know what the highway funds or highway sure. costs will be those are that's probably the biggest thing i don't know other things i i have a pretty good handle when on. you buy gravel when you but, buy exactly <laughs> so um so yeah yeah okay you know that's not too bad either if you think about it now i mean you really you really it's any budgeting is, is in this realm like for two million dollar budgets is like an estimate yeah you don't, you can't predict what's going to happen and cause you to have more overtime or less overtime um, or higher uh, ho yeah. uh, health care costs or whatever. So that that's nothing. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> pretty, it's pretty yeah. close, con yeah. especially considering some of the doubled up of, you know, uh, costs that we have had as we've worked through transition. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's yeah, it's pretty impressive. I think, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. OK, okay. so we need a motion to that effect correct we do to release the um all money into the fund, um, into the into the general fund fund balances into the sorry the um the amount that's reserved for unused vacation and sick time and for the treasure transition to release that into the general fund as noted here second okay uh, sure <laughs> sure Dieter, is that close enough to a motion that you can get it any uh, further discussion on that all those in favor, please say aye. 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 I'm sorry, I missed who made the motion. I made the motion behind this mask. And Judith mm -hmm. made a second. Okay. So that ends the treasury report. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so we put the personnel matters at the end. I don't think we need an executive session. I was I was just about to say, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know that you need, I think all the data we can just outline what was agreed to at the June 13th meeting, mm -hmm. pass that motion um, to extend that offer. Well, it has been extended, but to record it in the records based mm -hmm. on the, the last meeting. Did so- you have, Did you want to have an um, executive session on anything? No, no, I'm good. Okay. I'm actually fine. Okay. And we're required to explain our reasons for hiring him in open session. So we can do that now. Yeah, I'm going to recuse myself. Sure. Uh, I, I can take take charge of the meeting. Okay. Uh, so is there anyone who'd like to explain the reasons that uh, we have extended the offer to Tyson Brown to be our zoning administrator at uh, 
24 hours a week, did we say? Yes, an yeah. average of 24 hours per week, correct. Right. Over, if over I was going to say anything, I'd say he's the most qualified candidate. He absolutely agree. was. Yeah. Yeah. And so I just so have a question. Good good on the recommendation. Yeah, sure. What, what time? When are you going to have them start working? Wednesday. Oh, good. So he has a little time. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. so we'll yeah, have one week. Today we'll have one week of overlap day. with uh, Even having Bruce, people with Bruce. Not much. Yeah. Not much. He had absolutely stellar references too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And we appreciated that he had the technical skills to do this job, even if he has never done zoning administrator work per se, but he definitely, I mean, just his construction work and everything, he has definitely skirted around zoning and he knows stuff. Um, I, I think he's he's lived up to the zoning. Yes, yes. yes. He said they're here to zone right Yes, yep. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than skirting. <laughs> what did I say? Did I say the wrong thing? Did I say skirting? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Skirting. Here to say. And here to like duct tape. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I didn't mean it to sound like he was doing something bad. Sorry. No, it didn't sound bad to me. He skates around it. He skates so around it. Yeah. Then he glides. <laughs> so let me see. We already made the motion to extend him the offer. He's accepted. And later we on, we didn't make a. We we haven't outlined the specifics in the in the motion. I think we were directed in the June thirteenth meeting to have a conversation with him and extend that. But we haven't outlined the specifics yet. So we need to. Clear that up. Okay, so going. if so, we move to um, to accept his acceptance of, <laughs> of our offer under the terms of the letter um, that you sent him, yeah. So last it was week? thirty thousand dollar salary for an average twenty four hour per week okay. position, okay. part time position. Okay, as zoning administrator, correct with benefits. With yes. benefits. Yes. Yep. Well, our yep. personal policy yes. states yeah. personal the benefits. Yes. So in accordance yeah. with the personnel exactly. policy. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Okay. That sounds like a motion I'm willing to make. And I'll second it. Okay. Um, no, I, I'm, I'm chairing this. So sorry. I, let, let's have somebody else make the motion. Yeah, I wonder what you, you're doing, but you, I, I'm not, I don't dare say it. You, <laughs> you've, you've made the motion. Does anyone want to so second that motion? Awesome. Okay. Um, any more discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, the motion appears to pass. Motion passes and uh, return the chair to you. Okay, so that was the zoning administrator, and that's taken care of. So we have appointments. Next. Yes, appointments. Oh, yeah. Annual charter based appointments. <laughs> That would be town clerk, assistant town clerk, town treasurer, assistant town treasurer. So we need to make those appointments. Um, no, go ahead. Okay. no, I'm just saying there's a whole list right here. Oh, I have, I was looking at this. You know this? You want to look at it? No, I can probably find something. Here, we want to listen to each. Yeah, position. what's that in? It's in your packet. Oh, it's in my packet. It'll be Towards after the, the. It'll be after the um, financial reports and the. Uh, yeah, yeah, policy. yeah. Do we need to appoint Don to any position if he's going to continue doing his work? We've already uh, switched uh, to collector of current taxes and treasurer, so she's essentially continuing with those. But now. Okay, so what's his kind of position? Up. Oh, He's kind of backup treasurer, just not the official appointed appointed treasurer. Okay, but uh, are we allowed to have more than one assistant treasurer? Uh, well, no, no, he's not really appointed as. See, so from what I understand, I mean, you can call someone a title he's that a you want. Yeah, he's yeah, essentially okay. a consultant treasurer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then one item I realized I forgot just now to put on this bullet point is the E nine one one. Boy, that gets you when it The E nine one one coordinator has historically been the zoning administrator. Yeah. Um, I don't know how the board. You know, we have a zoning administrator just now coming in. I am 
I can take that appointment um, now as this person comes up to speed, or does the board want to go ahead and have the new zoning administrator administrator go ahead and assume the nine E nine one one appointment? I think if you're comfortable with taking that appointment, it would be really helpful for you to do it until he's a little bit more up to speed. Yeah. He just moved to town too. Yeah, I mean, that was yeah. my thought. Yeah, yeah that I, I felt that, that that that's why I wanted to offer that up as an option. So mm -hmm. if the board is comfortable with that, then I'm comfortable with that as well. Mm -hmm. um, he will of course support me in that, but I think that we can kind of be learning together, but at least it takes that off his plate. So he has time to focus on learning the <clears throat> ZA aspects of his role specifically. Yeah. And then we can, uh, you know, adjust in the future as needed. Do you have a sense of how much work that involves? Mildly, um, mm -hmm. but I'm okay taking that uh -huh. on my plate. So. Do, do, I don't think it's not a lot of work. That's assigning the, that's a assigning the and, numbers, right? And the, and the ZA will yeah. Yeah. have to provide, a lot of it's connected to, to your point, assigning numbers that are going to be before the DRB. So right. yeah. the zoning administrator is going to be highly involved right. um, in, the, in the process. It's just this is more of the, that point person that's helping to... Right. Ensure information is communicated appropriately, and yeah. we need to have a you know, a, a name um, associated with that. So, right. like yeah. I said, just to allow him Tyson a little bit yeah. more time to. And you'll be the point person. You'll do it together. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Easy, easy. But I thought if I could take the this is to me taking the administrative a lot of the administrative yeah. off of off yeah. of him. Yeah. That yeah. that was my that, yeah. that was that my kind sense. of proposal. Right, and there's stuff. I would guess there's stuff that doesn't really belong to the zoning administrator, like that change that we made for to take on to take away the hyphen. Yeah, that wouldn't have come through the zoning administrator. Yeah, that would be an E nine E nine one one. Yeah, that's, right. that's yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And that came probably yeah. to you to your attention yeah. first in town or Bruce's, yeah. depending exactly. on who is watching yeah. the email. Yeah. Right now, yeah. given that it's been both, there's going to yeah. be a this very gray area that yeah. Tyson and I will be walking. That right. there's going to be a lot of people confused. They've yeah. been used to going to one person right. for both aspect for Absolutely. a very long time yeah. so um we will work together on that and likely calling each other and <laughs> bouncing yeah. things back and forth so yeah there's going to be some and other than that questions. from the charter-based appointments essentially outside of the staff transitions that are in place and replacing those names accordingly right. it's pretty consistent with what you've had in the past mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so I move the slate of proposed 2022 East Montpelier appointments as listed with the addition of uh, Gina as the E911 administrator. A second. Any further discussion? I just have one. Recording in progress. One comment is Ty Rowland is still on here as fire warden. He did reach out to me a week or two ago and said he was willing to keep doing that. I might as well in that role, though I don't think he has a lot of, he definitely has a diminished role in the fire department. Right? So those are active appointments right now, so he's going to stay active. Yeah, the only yeah. thing we're really working on right now is that, that first top section oh, that ends with the road oh, okay. commissioners. Yeah. The rest of those are just uh, recap. Oh, okay. Of right. what's already in place. Active so appointments, yeah. Correct. So he's, okay. he's appointed okay. until the end until the end of this, next fiscal year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if a, I mean the fire department might come to us and say, hey, look, we like to <laughs> send our people who are here working out to you know give those burden permits. Uh, let's get somebody else. But well, that's what's if, always happened. I, right. They've always sent various yeah. people out. Right. But if, if they want to change it, then they can come to us. Well, they got to 2023. So right. Yeah, I, I misunderstood that, and now I understand the list that we have. Okay, so we have a motion. We do. We have a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Didn't mean to confuse the issue. Um, must be Ty thought his term was done. Yeah. Uh, so the next thing is... Employee pay rates for 2023. Do you want to go in executive session for that? Yeah. Okay. We'll so do that, we at do that at the end. Yeah. We can move that to the end. Okay. Uh, banking account updates. 
So this is um, two additional accounts that are investment accounts, um, Northfield and North Country, that we simply need to add myself and Michelle um, get the account switched over. So it's just, I specifically called out People's United the last time we discussed this. I did not make a blanket <laughs> banking. So I want to ensure that it's in the minutes and in the record that there are two additional banks, Northfield and North Country, that also need to have the personnel shift reflected in the uh, administrators of the account. Okay. Sure. If, if the board agrees with that. Yeah. Okay. I move to approve uh, updating access to the Northfield and North Country investment accounts to include Gina Jenkins and Michelle Palace to update access and signing authority for these. Perfect. A second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes have it. That takes care of the banking accounts. Uh, discussion on town management in light of COVID-19. Not a whole lot of change. We're low and the yeah. number is lower at least um, from where we were last time, so. Yeah. And I will probably always remind us of the old method of measuring this. And by that, we are over the high level for community transmission. But uh, people aren't dying and people aren't going to the hospitals at the rate that they used to when transmission was that high. Okay. Everyone's good on that? Uh, access permit. They are digging a trench across uh, Old Trail Road. For power, we have an application access permit in front of us. And Road Foreman Guthrie has already approved. I this, was, and he has discussed it with the with the landowner as well. So he is well versed on and very clear on what they will be doing, and is comfortable with the work to be done. So, I um, I don't remember the last time we've done one of the, these, but uh, I'm glad that Guthrie is has discussed it with them and they're clear yes. on what they're doing. The permit itself doesn't have any conditions in it. Yeah, Guthrie didn't feel that was actually specifically discussed and he didn't, he was comfortable with his discussion with them and what they were doing and didn't feel it necessary to write mm. any conditions. Mm. So. Just, He's just digging a trench. Yeah, yeah but how, how deep trench, is the trench? Across a trail. And how deep is the trench and uh, is it gonna be lined and that sort of thing? I mean, I, I would expect things like that to be in there. I'm sort of, I'm sort of hesitant to give a blank check to him. Uh -huh. But if Guthrie has that, I in mind, I mean, it's probably work for him for five minutes to fill that out. So well, the utility would require, uh, uh, they usually require a conduit. I would expect so. Yeah. yeah, but that's not really part of the town's purview. It's the utility does that. Right, but how deep it is, that's gonna well have they have they have a right? they have a um standard probably like four feet or whatever. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean that's not our we don't have a standard for that, I don't believe. The town does. Uh -huh. But the utility does. So you use wash electric or it's wash electric. electric. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they have a standard <clears> of <throat> how far down it has to go. Mm -hmm. But the town doesn't have that standard. So no. that's just what the town has is a standard for a trail, it's not even a, mm -hmm. and so it probably has to be left to the same condition that it mm -hmm. was before. But I don't know if there's any other conditions right. that would apply. Right. Okay. So what I'm hearing you say is that we don't need to put any conditions on our permit because by definition it will have conditions from the electric company exactly. that yep. we don't need to specify. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I guess I'm more comfortable with that. Yeah, I'm just thinking about when I've put in power along that same road. Yeah. Is I just did it myself. So they let's see, they had jurisdiction only to the pole. They have jurisdiction. Usually, they leave the off pole. jurisdiction after the before every at, at the meter. No, because I put a meter in on my building, but they inspected it. Right. They because inspected they have, because they do. They did they, inspect. They inspected. Any, let me think. Did they inspect the <clears throat> maybe they inspected my ditch and the conduit. Any line losses to that meter, they would pay for. 
So if they put the meter on the pole and then it went to your, your property, they could care less what you do after that because any line loss is going to be yeah, a no. problem. So but I put the meter on the building and dug the ditch and they inspected it. That's what happened. They inspected yeah, it. They and said, yeah. Uh, Carl, do you want us or recommend that they adhere to any um, requirements of the utility as part of our permit? That's what I would say. Okay. Well, I think that's implicit anyway, but whatever. So it doesn't they, they, hurt to put it in if it's implicit, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know. The utility has jurisdiction over the actual installation of mm -hmm. the power, right. but we have jurisdiction on is the road, the part mm -hmm. of it, not the power part of it. Mm -hmm. So, we don't we don't have jurisdiction over power. Right. Yeah. But uh, we um, don't have a standard for that. Well, no, you can make it more restrictive if you wanted. To. You can say it's got to be five feet deep. It's, I guess so. It's, it's a town road. So the town has total the town trail. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where it's still considered a public highway. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's a public trail. It's just public not a trail. Public road. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, are we going to go with that? I, I, I move to approve permit 22041, the trench on old trail road for power access on the condition that uh, the applicant apply. Um, um conforms to conforms to power company requirements and the agreement with road form and guthrie perry how's that good that's good i second it all those in favor please say aye aye hi. Uh, all right nice to have it uh warrants mm -hmm. warrants are right here yeah. We're flying to the I was thinking, yeah, we're not going to finish before we were supposed to start, but uh, it's not much, <laughs> much after that. Wow. Yeah. We start losing time tomorrow, right? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't bring it. We're sliding back. I want this on the record. We're sliding back into winter now. <laughs> After tomorrow. <clears throat> we haven't had summer yet. Sign that way. Oh, thanks. Yeah. It's no space. <laughs> 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 Your loquacious fellow board members took over. Yeah, sure, why not? Anything stick stick out in your mind on this? There's quite a few checks, quite a few. Quite a few expenses. Getting them paid before the end of the fiscal year. Yeah. Yep. Which software is Avenue? Uh, that's, that's the records. Oh, records. Okay. Yeah, we yeah, we yeah. voted on last time. Of summer, course, actually. yes. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I just saw one warrant in here, so they haven't done the the payroll vendors now. Payroll the, vendors, right? Those bills have not come in yet, so okay. We will likely be receiving a call or a text from Denise. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure I didn't miss something. Yeah. Last time we announced all the buses, it was a present. That's done many months ago. I don't know that this could ever happen. Oh, really? I've been here. Yes. Okay. I think. Um, yeah. <clears throat> you, you've been at some of the meetings physically, but. Yeah, I'll, I'll 2020 is when I started. Okay. There might have been, I'm just trying to think. Where the people have there's a little bit of a downward like trend. Seth, you came in when we Seth wasn't the, the meetings were online were remote when I came in. All uh -huh. uh -huh. came in. <clears throat> and 
and then when they started back in again, Seth might have been there. You might have been there. Yeah. It was kind yeah. of okay. So I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, good to see everybody. Yeah. Good to hear you. Not have the delay. Okay. So there warrants are cir circulating, correct? Right here. Yeah, okay. yeah. coming your way. Should we move on to the next item while we're? Well, the next item is an executive session. Okay. So. All right. I would, but. Hey. <laughs> Any other business that you want to talk about? Hmm. Was the town office closed today? Yeah. Okay. It was open. Okay. So we would have to add Juneteenth to our official list of town holidays and the personnel policy. Yeah, yes. in order to add yeah. that holiday, yeah. correct. Yeah. And someone told me it was not a state holiday. It, it is was, not. It is not. Right. Yeah, it looked it's it a out. federal holiday. What's the floating holiday that the town has now? Is that Veterans Day or something? Yeah, November. It is. Yeah. yeah, it might be the same they, day that the state has that same day. Well, okay. they they float it because they want because they want to hunt. Yeah. yeah they want to hunt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've been listening to the history of Juneteenth. That's really interesting. Yeah. yeah, it is very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah. So you remember the name of the general that went to Galveston, Texas? If you say his name, I'll remember it. Granger. Okay. Last name. <laughs> Do you know how many years after the Emancipation Proclamation? Two. Three, three, three. Two. Two and a half. Almost. Yeah. But well, what year was it? January 1st, 1863. Yeah. Two, it was the Eman Emancipation Proclamation. It was not right. when Granger went to Galveston. Right. Correct. It was, it was June two, two and 1967. Yeah. Yeah. 65. Seven, I believe. No, no. 65. No, five, 65. Because it's been 157 years. Because the Civil War ended in 165. Yeah, 157 years. Did he write that order to? Um, he did not. He did not. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Were you listening to the GDR interview? I was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was tending hay today. Yeah. I had a radio on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that must have been an old one uh, from you the think? archive because they were both saying it's not a federal holiday. Oh, and right. Now it is. Yeah. So it must have been an old one. Right? Yeah. But she said that it was a holiday in all but three states, which surprised me. Really? Or maybe, maybe she said it was recognized. 26 in, states, right? In all but three states. Misrecognized. It's not. It's 26 states. That's right? like That's a, a test. I can't hear 26 it. states have not, have not made it a holiday. Okay. It's almost like an intentional sound effect. Like that's really yeah, inflammatory. <laughs> it seems unusual that Vermont wouldn't. They don't want to negotiate. Probably you know, open up the, the union contract. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's actually what the new state 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 You know, those union yeah. people would be just. <laughs> I was a union member, so but yeah. anyway, for a while. But uh, yeah. but they they probably don't want them to. You were union in Hardwick? No. In we state. had two unions in Hardwick. But really? I wasn't. In yeah. No. I was okay. A bad guy. Oh yeah, of course you were management. <laughs> but he was he's confessing he was part of a union at one point. Yeah, what life. union was it? Don't don't you ask what the when SCA. it was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. That's not legal. Um, I can ask what union you were. You can ask what union okay. I was in. I was in the grocery checker union, and I still get the newsletter 45 years later. So. Wow. <laughs> That's a benefit. My, my mom does. <laughs> I move that we go into executive session to discuss a personnel matter. Second. Yep. Second. Yep. Any second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes have it. So we're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Okay. Coming out of executive session, resuming our meeting. No action taken. At 8:48. At 8:48. Um, All right. Well, there's never any action taken in executive session, but no. now we're going to take some action. I think. <laughs> okay. And we're going to try to approve the 2022, 2023 wage. I move wages. to approve the FY 2023 wages and salaries as proposed. I second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. Um, anything else we have to do? Administrative report. Do you have 
Anything you want to say? Well, we already discussed Juneteenth. Yeah. Um, and then for permit applications, we've had four since yep. the last meeting, 43 yep. for the year. And then I had the meeting schedule, which we know July 11th. Yep. Cara will not be in attendance at that one. But then uh, August 1st, August 22nd, September 12th. Yep. But then the fire department meeting will be on August 11th as well. Oh, right. And, and I will not be at that meeting. Yes, and Judith okay. will not be at that one. Yep. And that is it. That's it. May I move to adjourn? May you? May I? Oh, no. You should say, I move to adjourn. I move to adjourn. <laughs> I'll second that. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 A motion to adjourn is always in order. <laughs>